I like that. Well, one of the things we're talking about today is some things that you may be saying to other people, but not even really know it. Really? Body language. Yeah. Like what? Body language. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, <laughs> it would be nice if we could just do the show like this and get cash, I know. It? Really, seriously. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. funny because right before we start the then show, Connie and I are like this, and then all of a sudden we go like this <laughs> to say hi to you guys, right? Yeah, we'll <laughs> sit up and give you our best side. <laughs> Well, you know, a lot of people, um, when it comes to body language, it's, it's actually rather a fascinating phenomenon. It really is. Experts estimate that the face, just the face, is capable of more than 250,000 expressions. Imagine that. It's actually kind of scary, and it really makes you wonder, what are you really saying with your gestures? Mm -hmm. Well, your guest has been talking to us a little bit about some of that, uh -huh. and I'm fascinated to hear what he has to say in just a few minutes. I know. Well, he, ha he did have some interesting things to say. Yeah. So when it comes to our body language, like, for example, you know, when you said facial expressions, you know this that is my favorite one. Thing? Yeah. I love lifting that eyebrow. <laughs> I don't know what that says, but... but we have a lot of yeah. people commenting on our Facebook page. We too. do. Uh -huh. Jeannie Hopkins says, I pay attention to a person's energy message. Energy is a part of everything, and it's now being recognized that that energy in you is what communicates, and it receives... Uh, verbal and nonverbal clues, even though you don't realize it. Yeah. So that's, that's what cool. I hear. That's what I hear. Well, Charlotte Schaff says when it comes to body language, um, she says, I get that body language can say something, but I've always had issues in the past where people found me unapproachable or quote unquote snobby mm. because of my shy nature. It's always good to keep an open mind and not completely judge someone um, just for how they are holding themselves. Okay. Well, that's so, good. So don't judge a comments. book by its cover. That's exactly right. Look at how they're holding their hands <laughs> instead. Yeah. Hey, we have another one from Letitia Mack. She says, people don't realize how much that body language communicates for them. She says she pays attention to eye contact and posture, and it really lets her know if you're really paying attention to what she's saying or you're preoccupied. Well, join in the conversation with us. We're always on Facebook.com forward slash Smart Family 15, and we're reading your comments right now. So log in and let's chat. <laughs> well, I love those comments. They are Awesome. It's obvious that body language can communicate all sorts of things that you may not want other people to know. So how do you control your body language or what does it really mean? Well, joining us now is Kirk Duncan, who is a body language expert. So, Kirk, first of all, thanks for joining us and thanks for commenting on <laughs> Connie and I's body language before the show. So we're probably going to attack you after the show. You pr see. Most <laughs> people do. Most people do that to me, yeah. Well, you know what? There's a pretty amazing statistic that you were saying when it comes to body Body language and how important it is. Well, what I find out is that people, they don't realize that most of communication comes from how we move our body. Mm -hmm. In fact, 57% of our communication comes from how we move our hands, move our face, how we move our eyes. Mm -hmm. And then another 36% comes from the tone in which we use when right. we're talking. Tone is everything. I mean, we can say, I love you right. and I love you. Right, or... It's two different ways. Hi, how are you today? Hi, how are you today? Exactly. Yes, tone is a powerful thing. And I then think. the smallest part is words. But yet, I see parents in stores saying, I told you to do something. Right. But the, but the kids read the other 93%. Right, body language, tone also. But you know what's really fascinating with that statistic? Because it was 7% was words. Yes. What was fascinating to me is that we live in a world now that we only communicate through texting. So how can you set tone and... How can you see body language? So when you read something like, because I, I text all the time, you have to be very careful not to get into a really serious subject, right? Oh, you do. <laughs> and you have to be careful not to use too many explanation marks and font 72. And right, that exactly. That uses a lot of tone. In so that. tell me a little bit, for people that aren't familiar with body language, can you give me some, some signs that people can look for? And how can that benefit you to know what really somebody's saying without actually saying it? Okay, so... Can I use you as yes, an example? Yes, you can. I knew I was going to be the guinea pig. Go ahead. Use yeah. it as okay. an example. So when you were talking, you're using your hands. Uh huh. And as you were using your hands, you moved them in certain ways. Right. This and is the Italian in me. The Italian. <laughs> and, and people like to um, try and get me to not watch their hands after I tell them I'm watching their hands. Uh. But what happens is I can tell how much money a person makes by watching their hands. Okay. I can watch how successful they're going to be okay. by how they use their hands. Well, go ahead. Tell, tell me and your so, assumptions. And so <laughs> in this movement that you're using your hands, it gets to a point where it looks like you're carrying things. Mm -hmm. And so if I were to help you with your hand gestures, I would tell you when you're using your hands, you want your hands to end up where they're more in a vertical position. Okay. Or people are going to see that you're holding too much in your life. You've got okay. a very busy schedule. Oh, very. Absolutely. Yes, so very busy schedule. And so to help improve your gestures in uh -huh. your life, when you use your hands, have your hands not carrying something. 
okay. in the end. If I want people not to know something, I'm fine with speaking the truth. Oh, and <laughs> and so. it's okay to do that, but it, like for you, you're uh -huh. a powerful woman. Well. If I were to work with now, you... how do you know that? L let's see, there's like 25 different reasons why. <laughs> but I, really, in watching you, you could even up your level of income and your success rate just by not caring what you think you're carrying. Okay. And oh, so that's when, when a person changes their gestures, they change their ability to have good results. Okay. And that matters to me. Right. It really matters to me because even little kids that I work with, like my youngest client is five. Uh huh. And I work with people in all different ages. Helping them watch their gestures helps to change the way they think okay. and it improves their results. So you're, you're, almost about, you're almost like a life coach in a sense. You, you teach people how to read people's body language I'm and interpret it. a people whisperer. I like that. That's like pretty that? cool. Now, let's talk about a big subject when it comes to body language. Okay. Lying. Lying. Mm -hmm. What would you like to know? I would like to know how you can tell somebody's lying. You know, there's, <laughs> there's been other ways that people have taught about how to catch people lying, but actually the best way to catch someone lying is to watch the corners of their mm -hmm. mouth. It twinges. Yep. A Boom. little yep. tiny, uh -huh. little this tiny little, moves. Yeah, they don't little, even know. Little tiny it. moves. Mm -hmm. Most people say to watch the eyes or to listen to the tone, but I watch the corners of the mouth uh -huh. first, then I watch their eye movements okay. where they look. I love that. That is great. So, so parents watch. can watch. Oh. I've really enjoyed talking to you. <laughs> That's true. Okay. <laughs> That was good. <laughs> That's so great. That's so great. Well, some good advice. Is there anything else that we should know? Well, remember, well, tons. We could go on and remember on. that in reading body language, it's one thing to see it, but you need to ask questions to understand okay. it. Okay. Well, Don't just read a book and figure you know how to read body language. <laughs> like I teach a show, and I, I, I have a show where I teach people how to read it, and they need to show up and show, and let me show them what to look for. Right. Parents can improve their relationships with their kids. Mm -hmm. People who sell things, who have a, a business, they can totally increase their sales by watching their clients right. and know what to do next. Right. Well, I'm somebody that sits by people really closely, and so that makes people very uncomfortable. And I look you dead center in the eye. I have no problem looking people dead center in the eye. I can tell. You know what that body language tells me? Honesty. Very good. And no fear. So, anyways, Very you good. have an event coming up tonight. That's yes. why you're in town. Kurt, six so o'clock. Yep, it's at six o'clock tonight. It's uh -huh. a three hour show. I do a lot of training and li literally training. We have almost 100 people are going to be there tonight. Everybody's invited to come tonight. Uh -huh. There's no cost to get in the Ooh, door. Oh, I like that one. And mm -hmm. this, the reason there's no cost is because you have me on your show. All right. Yay. We like that. Well, we are glad that you came on, Kirk. So thank you so much for coming on to Smart Family. And we'll have all the details of your event tonight. Awesome. Um, so I'll talk to you soon. What does this mean? This means you're awesome and I'm awesome. <laughs> okay, Connie. <laughs> all right. The free body language show tonight, the Holiday Inn Suites. 6 to 9 p.m. That's 1600 South Country Club Drive in Mesa if you want to check out Kirk. Still